What's the timeline here? As the EM field becomes more and more unstable, we'll start seeing isolated incidents. One plane will fall from the sky, and then two, and then in a few months, anything, everything electronic will be fried. Static discharges in the atmosphere will create superstorms with hundreds of lightning strikes per square mile. After that, it gets bad. The Earth's EM field shields us from the solar winds, which are a lethal blend of radioactive particles and microwaves. When that shield collapses, microwave radiation will literally cook our planet. Dr. Zimski, <clears throat> this is the sun. This is the Earth without the EM field. Three months, gentlemen, and we're back in the Stone Age. A full year, the field collapses, and that. Feel free to throw up. I know I do. So, how do we fix it? We can't. Not in my vocabulary. Then you might want to get one of those word-a-day calendars, General, because it's impossible. The core is the size of Mars. You're talking about jump-starting a planet. This is a superheated hyperfluid of molten iron and nickel at 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,000 miles down, 1,000 miles thick. I mean, the deepest we've ever been is seven miles with a two-inch drill bit. If we can go into space, we certainly... Well, space is easy. It's empty. We're talking about millions of pounds of pressure per square inch. Even if we somehow came up with a brilliant plan to fix the core, we just can't get there. Yes, but... What if we could?